this problem here is asking us to take a Venn diagram with three different sets, A, B, and C, take a bunch of information, looks like eight pieces of information that relates to different regions in the Venn diagram, and in the end be able to come, come up with exactly how many elements are in each particular region. And so what we do is, the best thing would be to take, all, take the information as it comes and for each piece of information, say which regions that that information is talking about. So first up we have A intersect B intersect C. Okay. What that is, is the intersection between all three sets. That's this region in the middle. That is W. And so we can say that W is equal to 9. Um, let me in the bottom corner here redraw the Venn diagram. And I'll be putting the numbers inside as we get them. And so this one's straightforward that we should put a 9 inside region W. Great. Now, the next piece of information says C intersect A complement. Okay. You can either put it in words. I recommend doing the following, though. Um, here it is in words. You would like for it to be in C an intersection is read like an and, you would like for it to be in C and, and at the same time not in A. If those words are enough for you to figure it out, that's great. Um, if not, what you can do is actually use the, uh, the region letters here. What are all the guys who are inside a C? They are Y and W and Z and P. What are all the guys that are outside of A? They are N and Z and P and R. And then we're going to intersect these. So by doing it this way, it turns into, I think, an easier question where you just have to figure out, um, by looking at these two sets here, what's in both? What is the overlap? So the answer to the question would be uh, Z and P? Yeah, Z and P. So I'll write it up here as Z plus P, and that should be equal to 28. Now, that's not any region itself directly. We can't put 28 any, anywhere directly into the drawing. Just the fact that when we take Z and P and add them together, we should get 28. Next up, A complement intersect B complement intersect C complement. Okay, that is what's not in any of the circles. You want to be outside of A, but at the same time outside of B, and at the same time outside of C. So that's just region R. And so what we do is we take that number there, which is 11, and we can directly put that on the outside. Doesn't really matter where you put it, but since the R is placed down there, I'll put it down there. Some of them give you directly one region, some of them give you um, a combination of a couple regions. Okay, next up. So we've taken care of these three pieces of information. Next up is A intersect B. Now here's where you can easily make a mistake. You can look at this A and this B, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> and say that um, the X is the intersection, but it's not just the X. What regions are in both A and B at the same time? It's the X and it's the W. Now we already know what the W is though. We already know that the W is 9. And so, if together, they're supposed to add up to 
uh, this 15 that they're saying, then that can tell us what x is. Just take away the 9 from the 15. Okay, and so what we get out is that x should be equal to 6. And we can directly put that in there, 6. And we just continue this out for the rest of the information. For A intersects C, that's going to be equal to 9. Well, um, the, the regions that are in A and C at the same time are Y and W. But we know W is 9, so that leaves us nothing then for Y. Y must be 0. And so, um, this tells us that y, I'm sorry, this should be equal to 9, um, that tells us that uh, y is 9 minus 9, or the fact that y is 0. All right, great. Where's y at? Y is there? We put a 0 there. <laughs> okay, and just continue on. Now we have b intersects c. the overlap between B and C, W and Z. But we already know W is 9. Together they're supposed to be equal to 18. So Z is 18. This means that Z is 18 minus the 9. So therefore we get that Z is e also equal to 9. Where's Z at? Right there. That should also be a 9. Okay. Now let's go back and revisit. Now we should continue going on. <coughs> we should continue going on, yes. But um, there, was a, there was a piece of information that we didn't um, quite complete all the way through. In the second piece of information, we found that we couldn't nail down exactly what each of the regions were in the second piece of information we found that uh, Z and P should add up to 28 well at this point now we know exactly what Z is Z is 9 so now we can backtrack and figure out what P is so P then should be 28 take away 9 okay so P is 19. <laughs> Let's continue on where we were. Now we've used every piece of information. Now we need to use these last two though. And we should be done by that point. Um, A intersect B complement. As soon as they start throwing the complements in there, things get a little more complicated um, so if you need to you can go back to this approach here and so what's an A M and X and Y and W what's not in B what is outside of B M and Y and P and R you're trying to find the intersection you're trying to find the overlap I see M in both, I see Y in both, and that's it. So M and Y together should add up to this 13 that they say it is. Okay, that's, in, I'm sorry I didn't do it in words, but it's, uh, it's in A and at the same time not in B. That's the word version of it. Okay, so we're almost done. Uh, here we have it. It is. Uh, we know that y is zero. So then m is thirteen. You know, minus zero or thirteen. <laughs> okay.
Okay, lastly, we need what n is, and hopefully this last piece of information that we haven't used yet will give it to us. And so we're down to the fact that B intersect A complement should be 31. Okay. And it's the same kind of thing that we did here. Uh, let's try to just do it in words. Um, B intersect A complement. It needs to be in B. And at the same time, it needs to be not in A. So that's N and Z together. But we know Z already is 9. Um, these, these guys are supposed to add up to 31. And we know that Z is already 9. So then N is 31 take away 9. So N is 22. Okay. The U up here stands for the universal set. That's everything together. It's not just this 11. And now we can basically answer any question that this, that, you know, that can be posed from this Venn diagram. We took all the information they gave us. We used it. And we were able to decipher exactly what each of the eight regions are. And so our answer to the question basically would be, this entire Venn diagram. Okay, so that's what you have to do when you get stuck or when you when you when you you know can't figure it out on your own. Uh, use words. If if get, using words is too much, then uh, and, and it's not working out for you using words, then use regions and break it down to to be just what you would do for sets. Okay, great. That's it.